covers? Well, after my last project of putting that bench together, I decided it was time to uh, invest in a better piece of equipment if I'm gonna be cutting some metal. Uh, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and I purchased this device right here. This is a uh, bandsaw made by Jet, uh, made in the country of Taiwan. I was trying to, couldn't um, afford the um, American made bandsaws. They were, uh, I know the quality is there and everything, but uh, after researching this one, since it was made in Taiwan and not China, I decided I would go ahead and purchase this one. Uh, the thing I liked about it's just a horizontal bandsaw. Uh, they do make them horizontal and vertical where you can stand it up and use it as a vertical. I said, well, I uh, thought about it and thought about it and researched some more. And what I liked about this saw is this saw can actually, you pivot the head on the saw and not the vise. So if you want to, if you put your stock in there, what happens is if you put your stock in, you want to rotate the vise, and you got a 12-foot piece of uh, metal hanging out the back here or, or tubing that you want to cut, then what's going to happen is that metal is going to move. You know, you may move it up here four inches, but it may move back here six feet or so. So anyway, um, by getting this, it works real well. You adjust the uh, blade uh, uh, bearings. Uh, get it as close to your stock so you can move this one in. This one is stationary. It doesn't move in. Um, I'll stand it up here just a little bit for you and turn the hydraulic lift off so it stays stationary. But you put your stock in. Your vise is a nice uh, sturdy vise. Here I've used it on a couple pieces to cut some um, straight cuts with it on um, one and an eighth inch, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch square tubing, eighth inch uh, thickness. Uh, it works real well. I've got it set up on um, 80 feet per uh, minute um, drive. I think it's 80 feet per minute. I believe it is. Uh, it's 80, 120, or 200. So I've got it set on the slowest speed right now for that. Comes from the factory. Uh, you have to put the uh, base together. Then you have to take the saw which weighs roughly about 100 and, uh, 150 pounds. Uh, you have to put all that together with the, uh, on top of the base that you put together, bolt it down. Um, comes with a uh, half horsepower engine. You can change, or motor rather. You can change the um, setup from a 110 to a 220 if you like. You have to take, open this box up and then uh, redo your wiring in there and put a 220 outlet, I mean a 220 plug on it. And if you have a 220 outlet, you can do that. Most people have a 110 normally. But this thing works great on 110. It has a, uh, uh, it's a little dirty as you can see from where I've used it. This is a, uh, basically if you're going to be cutting the same stock, this is a stock stop that you can put on here. Rotate it up. Uh, to where you want it and then run your stock through and, and that'll um, Get your measurement and it'll cut it the same length of every piece that you push through there. So it's only good for maybe about 10 inches or so with the most but um, it has an automatic cutoff as the um, turn it on and as the uh, blade comes down um, You can adjust your speed of how fast it comes down with this little hydraulic uh, fill a cylinder here. And as it comes down onto the um, stock and cuts through the stock, when it gets through the end of the stock, it automatically, and it's set by the factory, it's automatically cut off. I heard a little click, but uh, it uh, automatically cuts off. And I've tested that the other day. I kept thinking that it wasn't gonna cut off, but it did. When it was standing up like that you hear a little click and it cuts that motor off but it basically after the stock gets cut by the blade it's a half inch blade um, i keep a little um, oil can here squirt a little oil on it when it's uh, running through it's set up as a dry saw i didn't want to get a um, wet saw with the uh, fluid in it because i'd read some things about it that if you don't use it on a daily basis 
uh, then what happens is is the tubing uh, gets a little clogged and you have to work on that each time you go to start it. So I figured, well, I didn't want to uh, have to get into uh, working with that each time. But it's easy to, uh, you know, uh, undo the top here, open it up, and you can change your uh, belt. Uh, you can loosen your, uh, this is your tightener for your uh, tension on your belt. Loosen this up, rotate this up. That'll loosen that inside pulley. And... But I'm real happy with it um, from what I've cut so far. And the thing I like about it, the reason I bought the thing was uh, because of being able to rotate the head and not have to rotate the vise. Uh, this is, I uh, tested this out and got it set up so that everything is now set up perfectly so that it cuts a 45, cuts a straight. And then you can also, by moving the uh, a couple of set screws on the vise and move that vise around you can move this back and by doing that you're able to rotate the saw from this direction as i speak from this direction to this direction and you can cut a 60 up to a 60 degree cut on it 45 if you come this way 60 degrees if you go this way so all you have to do is just change that vise a little bit and a little setup on it and it's not bad to do so like i say i'm real happy with it and i'll be making better cuts than what i made with my uh, chop saw and it does good uh, matter of fact i'll put a small piece of stock in here and we'll uh, get it going for you hold on It does a good job, and I tell you, I, uh, it's going to make my life easier when I try to uh, weld up uh, parts that don't fit good. At least when you get a good fit up, it's a lot easier to weld. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, got some information out of this, um, and let's get out and do something.